Hello, good people, and welcome back to the Ultimate Doom walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC, played through Z Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Episode 4, Mission 3 Sever the Wicked. Sever the Wicked comes from Matthew 13 49. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. This verse basically means, this is what will happen when the end of the world comes. Angels shall come to earth and separate the good people from the bad people. So, yeah. Let's get to the video. Alright, the first thing we're gonna do is press the switch on the left, then turn left from the switch, and jump down here, then turn right, and establish a foothold down this dead end with the demons. I use the plasma gun because I find it easier to establish that foothold. Once you have a foothold, you can try and kill some of the enemies in that window up there, but it can be tricky. It can be tricky to kill them all. So it doesn't matter if you miss a few enemies up there, we'll get to that eventually. Now on the left side, over here, sometimes the enemies get jammed at that lift there, so you can just rocket launcher them to death. Sometimes it happens, not all the time. Alright, we'll go past the lift to make sure all the enemies over here are dead. Just die! Good god. And then over here, there, there will be several gunners perched on the higher platforms around you. And it's a good idea to try to kill them all. Sometimes the Baron of Hell up there will do it for you, though not all the time. And everyone's dead over here, so we'll go back past the lift and just head straight forward to this area. This is the final area we're gonna kill the enemies on the bottom level. Once again, try to kill as many of the gunners above you as possible. And that looks to be pretty much everybody dead. There are a few stragglers, which is expected. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is go back up the lift. This will take us back to the starting area with the switch. Have your rocket launcher ready and just fire through that fake wall. Yeah, it's a fake wall and you can kill some enemies behind it. Whoa, that bear... If, yeah, um, rewind the video and the Baron actually hit that imp and exploded him. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, we'll grab the invulnerability and head left, past where we flip the switch, and then to the right side over here, we can carefully navigate this ledge and grab the invisibility. It won't help much, but it will help in a later section, that's why I grabbed it. So, you want to hurry down the stairs with the rocket launcher blazing, and then kill the enemies behind this window as best you can, it's okay if you miss a couple and then go up the stairs. Don't go down the stairs, go up the stairs first. Now up here on the left wall is a secret area with some imps inside, so take care of business then grab all of the items inside. And now open up the door. And here is where the invisibility will come in handy because as you see these enemies do not notice me at all. They are deaf to every sound you make unless you hit them. Stop walking alongside the Baron. <laughs> like they were doing a, uh, a march together or a waltz. Waltz of the Baron. Alright. So collect all the ammo and health that you can find here. And now we'll go up the stairs, some more. This is why I like this map so much, is because it just does this. 
And here we get taken to that fake wall we fired through, and we can get a plasma gun from here. So yeah, kind of cool. Now we have the privilege of going all the way back down the two sets of stairs. And now, we'll go down these stairs that we didn't go down yet. The ones that I said to skip for later on. Now down here, you can take either pathway. They'll both take you to the same area, so it doesn't matter. But the main goal is to kill everybody down here. So make sure to travel down both pathways to kill them all. Come on, there we go. So lower this down and kill the specter that was behind there. Alright, now have your BFG ready, and as soon as you lower the lift, head into one of the alcoves and kill the Baron of Hell. And he got squished there. Then do the same thing for the other side. And he got squished again. How awesome is that? Alright, now when the lift raises up, you can explore both sides of the lift um, to grab some rockets and shotgun shells if you need them. Which, I could use the rockets, so... That's why I'm doing this. Lower down the lift again and take the teleporter. Oh, the Baron's up close. Okay. So... There is a Baron and a Cacodemon down here. Those are the two most dangerous enemies that you want to worry about. Um, you can use your rocket launcher, definitely. Um, just be careful, it is a cramped area, and sometimes the enemies can come too close, and they can damage you that way. Or at least the explosion from your own rockets. So you want to be careful about using it, but you certainly can use it. That imp. He always gets stuck in the wall, and I don't know why. Press the switch, it will lower down the red key with that dead baron that we killed earlier. Remember the waltz of the baron? Yeah. Grab the red key from there, and then um, head over here to this rocket launcher. Something interesting about this area. Across from the switch is a secret wall. But what is behind the secret wall is kind of interesting. You see those stairs there in front of me? After I kill these imps, just listen. That was 19 secrets. Every stair and this room is a secret area. I don't know why that is. It's, it, it's, it is weird, but it is kind of interesting to hear that sound. And you may have to pass up the stairs a couple of times just to make sure every secret tagged. Another interesting thing. See these two torches here um, facing the opening? Those are tagged as secret areas, but you can't go inside the torch to tag the secrets. They are inside the torch, which does not make any sense to me. So I'm going to use ID Clip to clip my way through the torches and grab the secrets, because, you know, I'm OCD that way, and I must have all the secrets. I don't know who designed this map, but whoever did is an obvious troll. There is no way you can mistake these torches for secrets when you're building this map, but whatever. Press the switch, then turn right from the switch and open up the wall. This is not a secret area. But you can take the teleporter back to the start, conveniently to the red bars. And we can kill the Baron of Hell, conveniently from this location. Alright, so now we'll go past the red bars, and grab the blue key and then go around the outside pillars here to grab some weaponry, like rockets over here, and on this side you can grab some plasma. Alright, now we're not going to jump down, we're going to go back past the red bars, because to the right of the red bars is this little section right here. You can fall down, grab a berserk, a backpack, and an invisibility sphere. Now, you have to work quickly if you want to kill both barons in both lava pits. Jump down, grab the radiation suit to protect you from the lava, 
and then fire at the Baron of Hell with the BFG. Press the switch to lower down this lift. We'll be back down here later on, by the way. Now head left. And um, keep going forward. And then there's this lava pit down here. You can grab a rocket on this side and then kill another Baron. And then lower down this lift. You see, that's, that's where the radiation suit comes in handy to protect you from the lava. And there's an imp we alerted, so we'll kill him. Now we're back to this lava pit. Now, see this door over there. We're gonna go there. So you see the radiation suit helped us from all of this lava, so... Yeah. We'll go through the red door. Now there is an imp behind there, and that teleporter will just take you back to the start. And that shotgunner... He wants me to come up there. Well, you know what? I'll do it. Yep, he paid for it. No. Don't tell me. Did I kill him, or is he still alive? I can't risk it. I need to go make sure. So now we have to take the teleporter. Yep, he's dead. Damn you. So now we have, we have to find our way back. I think it was this side with the items. So we'll fall down. Is it down here? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, stupid imp. Yeah, don't let the enemies teleport if you can help it. Blue door. Let's go through it. Alright, well, it didn't go quite as planned, especially towards the end, but hey, I think, uh, I think this is okay, so... There's the exit teleporter. Sever the Wicked. I really do enjoy this map. It's one of my favorites in Episode 4, though it's not my favorite. That is coming up later on. I think it's Episode 4, Mission 6. What is up with the secret areas in this map? Why so many? There are 22 secrets. 19 of those, I believe, are on those stairs. Two of those are in the torches that you cannot access regularly. You have to cheat to get to them. ID clip. I don't understand the logic there. Apart from the designer of this map just wanted to be a goddamn troll. That's all I can think. Who logically puts two secrets in a torch? Definitely not me. Nothing else I can really think of. I like the design. I like the outside environment. I like the fact that this level seems stacked on top of each other. Like different floors. You go up and down stairs. And it just seems like it's stacked. Like a big building. But it isn't. It's just a, a visual illusion. I guess is what you can call it. But it is kind of cool the way it was designed. I, I, I will give the author of this map credit. He did do a great job at designing this. Just He's a little bit trollish. Next is Unruly Evil, Episode 4, Mission 4, which, in my opinion, should have been Episode 4, Mission 1. I think this is the one that I'm thinking of. If not, then it's the next one. I'm Big Mac Davis, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.